This material looks a lot like mercury, doesn't it? Well, it's not mercury. It's actually a metal alloy called galenstan. Galenstan is a mixture of three metals. It's 68.5% gallium, 21.5% indium, and 10% tin. Because it melts the low temperature of negative 19 degrees Celsius, galenstan is a liquid at room temperature. As you can see here, galenstan adheres to surfaces quite strongly. While this property does make it a bit difficult to use galenstan, it did allow me to make a goofy looking smiley face on this petri dish. Because mercury is toxic, but galenstan is not, galenstan is sometimes used as a replacement for mercury in various experiments. I'm going to try to use galenstan in place of mercury in the classic mercury beating heart experiment in which a drop of liquid mercury is made to pulse, just like a beating heart. Let me show you how this experiment works. First, watch what happens when I touch the droplet with a piece of metal. The droplet flattens out and bubbles form on the metal surface. When I take the metal away, the gallon stand droplet rebounds to its original shape. Notice that the process can be repeated by alternately touching the droplet with the metal and then removing it. If the metal is positioned just right, then an interesting situation occurs. As the droplet flattens, it moves away from the metal and no longer touches it. But because it no longer touches the metal, the droplet rebounds to its original shape. But this causes the droplet to flatten out again. So by positioning the metal at just the right height above the gallon stand, the droplet oscillates between compressed and expanded states and ends up looking like a pulsating blob or a beating heart. What causes the gallon stand blob to throb? Well, when a drop of gallon stand is immersed in acid, a chemical reaction happens on the surface of the droplet. Surface layer gallium atoms are oxidized as shown by the chemical equation here. The positive gallium ions that form enter the acidic solution, leaving behind negatively charged electrons on the droplet surface. The process results in what is known as an electric double layer, negative charge on the droplet surface and positive charge just outside the surface. The shape of the droplet depends upon its surface tension, and this depends upon how these electric charges are distributed around the surface. When the gallon stand droplet is touched with a metal conductor, the electrons flow from the gallon stand to the metal. This changes the surface charge distribution, which changes the surface tension, which changes the shape of the drop. I think it's fantastic that gallon stand can be used as an alternative to mercury in the beating heart experiment. I've posted some articles in the video description that you can read to learn more about what's going on. As always, let me know in the comments if you try this experiment and learn anything new on your own. Happy experimenting!